Welcome to the Fantasy Football Forge. My name is Steve, and in today's video, we will be going over either the under or overvalued quarterbacks from the 2022 season. Depending on what the title of this video is, this intro will be replayed in both of the videos. So if you know what I'm going to say already, then you can just skip right ahead if you don't want to see once again what my equalized value, the EV system says the correct order for the value of uh, the quarterbacks were in 2022 as far as how they helped teams win games. And you know how to skip ahead. So this list is determined with the help of my equalized value system compared to the average fantasy points per week over the first 17 weeks of the season. Dropped off week 18. I really don't like to count that. There's too many things going on with the week 18 that I don't like. So you can see the average fantasy points per week right here in the second to rightmost column. Then in the most rightmost column, that's the sentence, the average ranking of the actual guys. I think it's a little easier to look at this coloring scheme to see who jumps out as being out of order. Here is the master guide to that system. Here is the EV, also color coded in the same way. Now this video is going to be a little bit different than the other positions because this was the first video that I actually did all the prep work for and it's the last video I'm recording and looking at my prep work I can see I the evolution of these videos i went all in on the head-to-head -head matchup thing that that was after the prep for these videos for the quarterback position and i don't think it's necessary to go back um actually let me know if you like what's in this video more than the other videos i think that it's a little bit easier to just follow the head-to-head -head thing but as a guideline here for the quarterback position you know what was a quarterback one week when i'm saying a player has a quarterback one week well it would have been on average over the last two seasons of data 34.2 points plus or minus 4.4 points they would all qualify as being a quarterback one week and i do go into more detail about the actual ev system and how these points awarded for having a quarterback one or a quarterback six quarterback three even type week ends up working out and this equalized value is just the average of all of those points that were awarded for each week um how that players did each and every single week it's just ultimately the system just favors consistency over boom or bust limiting squashing down the um, impact that those boom or bust games have on players for the overall when we're looking at the overall performance which average fantasy points per week can be really slanted one way or the another due to just a couple of huge performances or really terrible performances and it just equalizes that out that's why it's called the equalized value now looking at the quarterback six we have about 23 points as the average quarterback 12 all the way down to about 18 points is the average then quarterback 18 is all the way down to about 14 points then we're getting to 10 and a half points and six points at a quarterback 30 so you see like a really bad quarterback week really does hurt you quite a bit uh and and having a top six week is what you want and that helps a lot and the thing about quarterbacks is they're quite predictable which i think really helps the value of the good quarterbacks because you get this on a very consistent weekly basis, you get some quarterback one numbers from the best guys, quarterback top six numbers, three, and the darker greens there. You can see there's a lot of that, and you don't see that at other positions. Some of them, it being very rare for a guy to have multiple uh, QB one or you know that position number one type games. So um, that is, I believe, about it. Let's see. You can see this up on the website, www.theffforge. If it's not up right away, it should be up within a day or two of both the over and undervalued quarterbacks positions videos coming out. And the players are all ranked here on the list according to my EV system. And um, yeah, I already plugged there should have been a card that will bring you to the overvalued wide receivers if you would like to learn more about the equalized value system, how it works. Otherwise, just take my word for it. It's I like it. I, I think it accurately helps you to understand how much value guys actually did a little bit more accurately overall than the average fantasy points per week. So let's move on into this video's countdown. Before we get into the countdown for the most overvalued quarterbacks, just a couple of quick notes for this position. I did do um, a fair amount of adjusting players for when they were starting or not because uh, quarterbacks can come onto the field and, and kneel down and that'll count has a game on this list so if they were doing that for a couple games earlier in the season and then they became the starter for the rest of the season that could really really mess with the average fantasy points per week so these are the players that due to whether it be injury or other reasons 
Um, like Brock Purdy right at the top here, that'd be a non-injury reason. Like I just explained for, he entered in a few games, didn't do anything. Um, these are the players that I adjusted. So Brock Purdy at the top of the list. Then Kyler Murray was adjusted. Dak Prescott, Tua Tagovailoa only in week four did I adjust that though. Then Jimmy Garoppolo and Kenny Pickett. Then another quick note about this, um, this, these changes that I made. So all of the average fantasy points per week averages are pre-adjustment to those players. So when I'm saying uh, in my countdown that they were the average fantasy points per week number blah blah blah, uh, that was pre-adjustment. However, what you're seeing on this cheat sheet on screen is post-adjustment and I will point those out at the end of uh, each introduction of these characters of these the cast here, the most overvalued quarterbacks. Let's get to that. The number five most overvalued quarterback of the 2022 season is a guy that, via the average fantasy points per week, was ranked fifth. However, the equalized value has him ranked at eighth. And that player is Justin Fields. And let's let's hold off here. Not, not quite so much. He was excellent outside of his first four weeks. And he was so dominant after that that he went 5-0 and versus Lamar and Kyler Murray in head-to-head matchups to end with a 5-4 and record against both of them. Um, they were the EV number 5 and 6 players. Guys who, you know, even the EV, he was better than. And so uh, once we adjusted all of those players too, before I do want to point out that he has the average fantasy points per week adjusted average as a seventh player. But um, he made this, he made the list. I don't really support it though. <laughs> Just Fields was great. Can't overvalue him going into next season. Now on to the number four most overvalued quarterback from the 2022 season. This is a guy that via the average fantasy points per week was ranked 10th with the adjustments to all the other players. He was actually ranked 12th and via the equalized value, however, he was ranked 14th. So four spots behind the average fantasy points per week would tell you that player is Trevor Lawrence. I apologize for not highlighting uh, Justin Fields before, right there at number eight. But here is Trevor Lawrence. If you want to look at his resume, he had three top 30 games across the season, including week 17. And I wrote, ouch. So, um, yeah, week 17, he really laid a dud for his owners. So that sucks. Outside of that, he was quite fantastic, but he only had one quarterback one week. So that really hurt, too. He did help to make up for that with four top six weeks. So, um, you know, overvalued, sure. Pretty darn solid, definitely. Which brings us to the third most overvalued quarterback from the 2022 season, a guy who via the average fantasy points per week was ranked ninth overall. However, the equalized value system pushed him back four spots to the 13th ranked overall at the quarterback position. And that player is Daniel Jones. Now, these were all guys that I kind of liked in the season, but hey, it is what it is. He did have one quarterback one week. He had one QB three week and three QB six weeks. He never finished outside of the top 24, and he went five and five versus two undervalued quarterbacks in Brock Purdy and Sam Darnold. After we adjusted for those quarterbacks that I mentioned at the top of this video, uh, this portion of the video at least he would have been the 11th not 9th best via the average fantasy points per week but regardless uh, once again I, I have no problems with these overvalued quarterbacks up to this point um, let's see here I should have highlighted Daniel Jones so yeah I mean uh, I like that floor you know a, a couple of bad games and maybe didn't hit into that top top and stuff too often only one qb one game so i get it i get why he fell down a little bit compared to the average fantasy points per week that brings us to the number two most overrated quarterback of the 2022 season a guy who via the average fantasy points per week was ranked 14th however he was ranked 17th overall according to the equalized value and that player is 
Jared Goff. So when we would compare, I, I compared Jared Goff to Jimmy Garoppolo. He had four wins, five losses versus Jimmy G, a guy who was two spots ahead of him via the EV. However, five spots behind him via the average fantasy points per week. There you can see him right there, Jimmy G. You kind of know what kind of player he was. And Jared Goff still kind of struggled to... Um, his inconsistency struggled up against a very consistent guy in Jimmy G. No other way to put it. And so that's what hurt Jared Goff. And, I, you know, I know from rating him week in and week out, that was something that was uh, could bite you in the butt with him. He finished in the bottom 18, 50% of the time. So as soon as you thought he was uh, a good option, he would just let you down and... Um, yeah, I, I do think that it's going to be easy to go into next season with a little bit of rose-tinted glasses for Jared Goff. That said, I also think that uh, there's a chance that they're a better team overall, which might help him be just a little bit more consistent. Uh, but he's always been a guy who, A, he needs talent around him to be good in fantasy and real football, and he he'll let you down sometimes it just it's gonna happen he has bad days now for the honorable mentions at the quarterback position these are all guys who had two who were two or more higher in the uh, ev ranked like lower technically in the ev than they were from the average fantasy points per week and those are tom brady matt stafford james winston tua tegavailoa that is the pre-injury adjustment for tua same with Lamar pre-injury adjustment. He would be uh, considered overvalued for what he brought to you. But a post-injury for both of those guys, I think they uh, didn't quite count for this list. So very close. I think that list makes sense. It was easy to... I guess that tells you a lot about Matt Stafford. Probably a pretty, pretty poor season for him. But I think Jameis Winston, it was easy to get a little bit excited about. Tom Brady, we don't have to worry about for next season. He's retired. And uh, Tua and Lamar, maybe be careful, maybe not with them. Injury concerns, definitely something that's starting to creep up into uh, concerns for both of them. But let's go on to the number one most overvalued quarterback from the 2022 season. This is a man who cannot wear enough chains or enough shirts. Um, well, he, he could wear too many shirts, but he can't wear enough chains. This man via the average fantasy points per week was a top 12 player at number 12 however the equalized value system would push him back just a little ways outside of the top 15 at ev number 16 and that player is you guessed it kirk cousins kirk just like jared goff very similar to him uh would have gone four and five versus jimmy garoppolo if they just played head to head so gave him the same test there he was very consistent. He just didn't have a top six ceiling in him, which was uh, very hurtful. And he only finished as a quarterback one once. He had three bottom 24 type games. Two were bottom 30 or worse. You can look across that, um, his output there. We got the full color-coded points there to, to compare that to. So just very in very consistent, but not like in a great way. And according to the adjusted average, he would have been the 13th best uh, quarterback average fantasy points per week when we just made things look a little bit more accurate to the actual fantasy value um, with those quarterbacks that I mentioned at the top of the the, the video here. So uh, nothing wrong with Kirk Cousins, but not a top 10 guy. And look at that week 17 as well. Ouch. And week 11, right, as you're making that playoff push. Just Kirk lets you down at all the wrong times, I tell you. So that is it for the quarterback video. Um, th thank you. Look forward to other videos. I, I don't know what order these are all coming out in, so it's a little awkward at the end here. Peace out.